Okay, so first things first, like we said, if you're ever away, this is your first port of call. Okay, this is where you go. Everything will be on here for you to check out. And you know this, this isn't new. So if let's go into digital media, we go into here. Exactly. Um, all right, and here we got animated music video, class demo. So if you watch this and it goes for, I think like 23 minutes or something, this is what I sent you last week, it shows exactly what you missed in the class, okay? In fact, it goes into more detail because you can stop and you can rewind it and you can see it again. So you need to, to do this stuff if you're away, okay? It's there for you. It's so, yeah, you're sick, cool, you know, but you can watch this while you're sitting on the couch, um, feeling better, getting better, I don't know. Um, and you can watch it and then you can come back in today and you know exactly where we're at, okay? And you're not behind everybody else because we're going to waste, you know, like 20 minutes trying to catch up. So... From now on, that's what we do? Yeah. 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 Brilliant. All right, excellent. So that's why we're going to record a new one now. So we're going to show you in a little bit more finite detail what you missed. So watch that one later, okay? Because that's going to, it's, it's a little bit longer. It's going to show other stuff. But I'm going to show you what, we're, what everyone's doing now, what we're catching up on. So you've drawn your, all your little, you've drawn your timeline and you've drawn all the little items that appear in it, you know? So uh, a, a sun appears, and then a building appears, and then a unicorn appears, and all that kind of stuff. You've drawn all that, okay? So you know that, yeah? So now you need to put it into the computer. So we start Flash Up, and we use what's called Action Script 2. That's just the way it runs. All right, and here we go here. Here is our window. This is where all our animation goes at the end. But we don't need to worry about that yet. What we need to worry about is filling this library with stuff, okay? So think of this as, like... I don't know, a puppet show, all right? So you physically need to make all this stuff and then you take it out of this library here and you put it into your animation. Does that kind of make sense? All right, so we need to make our stuff. So what we do is we do a new symbol. So think of a symbol as one of your drawings, okay? So we do a new symbol, leave it as a movie clip because it means it's gonna be an animation and my first symbol might be angry face, okay? So sometime in your video clip it talks about an angry face and that appears so we do angry face all right and then what you've got here is like a blank canvas okay and you do whatever you want so i'm going to draw myself a face because that's what i want it to look like so maybe in my animation i had this face here and i'm just using the mouse okay um we got an eye back there okay Oh, do you wait and see? Okay. There we go. Oh, and an ear. That kind of looks Ooh, like... Happy. Yeah, there's a point here. All right, there we go. There's our guy. Now, we've got our fill, just like in Photoshop. So, we can fill in this color, so we can paint him in. So, here we go. <laughs> nice and easy. You Remember, even though it's white, remember you still need to fill in the white as well. Because there's technically nothing in there. So when you fill that white in, and then finally some black, and we'll fill that black in. All right. There's our, there's our first image. But obviously in our little timeline that we drew, we actually showed this guy getting angry. And then it's got to repeat that. So we're at frame one, and we've got this lovely picture. And he looks very nice. If not bald, but very nice. Then we go to frame 15. Okay. And we right click, and we put in a keyframe. So key is important, so that's why it's called a keyframe. And we put that in there. All right. Now, what we do here is just think back to when you were little kids and you used to draw stuff and you used to scribble it and change it. That's what we're doing now. So I can literally just erase that there and then I can pick that color. You got an eyedropper. Um, and I'm going to paint in here, get rid of that. Okay. All right, so that's gone. And then... Go back to black, so just like Photoshop. Okay. And now, we'll do this. Okay. And we'll do this. So I'm not changing it much. Um, and we'll do that for now. All right, and obviously we want to have white teeth. So we can use our paint bucket and we can fill these teeth and we want to fill his eye because now his eyelids have come down so we didn't want to get that same that same color so we use our eyedropper pick that color okay and now we've got it we can fill that in 
All right, excellent. There we go. Now he looks a bit angrier. You can see that. All right. And now, you know what? I actually want to make it look like he really is going crazy. So at frame, I don't know, 22, you put in another keyframe. So this means another important frame, something's going to happen. So now you that might start drawing again. So we get our paintbrush out here. All right, and you start, we use red. Oops, I'll do that. Oh, I've just killed you. There we go. We've got red there. We'll get in our paintbrush. And now this guy is like, he's literally seeing red. All right, he's, he's getting angry. Okay, this is flying. Ah, he's mad. All right. And now, when we play that back, we can see that simple animation. So like that video clip we saw, it was really simple, just back and forth. And the last thing we need to do is we need to go to frame 30 and copy our very first frame, copy that, and then we paste it at frame 30. And the reason why we do that is so it can repeat and it just keeps coming back to that. Now, the reason we do 30 frames is because in one second, there's 30 frames. Of animation. Remember we talked about this, if you drew a, a cartoon of a guy walking in one second, you'd have to actually draw 30 individual frames. And there it is there. There is our head. So that's one part of our song. And then what you would do in here is you're now going to do everything that you see. So maybe at, in one part of your song you've got a tree that's on fire. So you'll draw the tree at maybe frame 1 and then at frame 15 you might draw it on fire. Or why don't I just do that and show you. So again, tree. So really simple. It's not, it's, this isn't meant to be super detailed in here. It's meant to look really rough and ca cartoony and hand-drawn because it is. So if we want to do our tree on fire, all right, same deal. I use, I like a black outline of, of, for everything because it really does make it look cartoony. So what we do is we draw, you know, the stump of our tree. Here's our tree there. Wow, this is detailed. Okay, then pick our color. Fill it in there, and pick a brown, fill it in there. All right, so then what would we do to make this tree look like it's on fire? Go yep. Yes. And then draw fire on it. Yeah. So it really is really simple. It's just like I said, like if you were at home and you were bored and you were scribbling on paper and you drew something and then drew something over it, that's all we're doing. We're literally just drawing and then erasing and drawing again but because we're moving forward each frame it's like a snapshot so we can go back to it so yeah so now we'll get our paintbrush and we've got our red here I don't know why I did the metaphor of a tree on fire but anyway you know there's our fire we can fill that in this is obviously incredibly detailed um, but again I'm just I'm just scribbling you know just scribbling away and then what we might do to make it look a little bit more detailed is go to frame 20, set another keyframe, and then maybe just put a bit of oh, let's do that one. Um, put a bit of orange in there. And then last thing remember we do, we go to frame 30, copy the first frame, and then we paste it in there. Oops. So. All right, that'll do for now. And there's our tree. Okay, done. And so all we do now is we keep going through and we keep filling this out with everything that we put on our timeline. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. Mm -hmm. All right. So once that's done, let's just say you've got a whole bunch of stuff in here and you're ready to go. Then we go into our scene, which is this is our animation. So you can see it's got a little clapperboard there to, to represent it's our animation. So let's pretend that our entire song goes for 60 frames, which is two seconds. A whole song goes for two seconds. Simple as that, all right? All I do is, all right, at frame 10, I insert a keyframe, and this is where Angry Face is going to appear. And there he is there, okay? So you can see I've got nothing there, but at frame 10, there's my Angry Face, and he's going to stay in there for as long as I want him to. So if I say, all right, at frame 30, I'm going to insert a keyframe as well and he's gonna stay there for that long, all right? And what I can do as well is I can move him. He's gonna actually go over there. So at frame 10, he appears. 
And at frame 30, he's all the way over there. But I want him to actually move. I don't want him to just flash like that. So if I right click, instead of tween, now he's going to move across. Pretty simple. And then after frame 30, I want him to disappear. So if I actually go past frame 30 and delete him, oops, I didn't mean to do that actually. Here you go. Um, if I put in a keyframe at say frame 31, insert a keyframe and then select him and delete him, now he's gone. So he's only going to appear where I say. Uh, let's say at frame 45, I want our amazing tree to appear. So I insert a keyframe at frame 45, I put our amazing tree. Same as last time. Okay, and then I want our key to stay, the, our tree to stay there until frame 60. So I insert a keyframe there as well. Cool, and there our tree stays. And then at frame 61, insert another keyframe and then delete our tree. And we're done. So if I zoom out, our whole song has nothing for the start. La 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 la. Then our little face moving across. Then he's gone. Then our tree appears, and then it's gone. Now obviously. <laughs> Nothing's happening here, right? But if we yeah, enter, yep. Yeah. And so what it, what it's doing is it's just repeating that little bit of animation we did. So if I take that back a notch, all right, let's go all the way back, and I just put my face in. I'm not going to delete it. I'm just going to put it in, and that's just going to repeat and repeat and repeat and repeat, and that's all it is. So as long as, as long as you have it in there, it's going to repeat. So you do the animation once in that movie clip, and then you just drop that in. So what you need to do now is you need to spend the rest of this time filling out your library of stuff. So generally, to keep it nice and simple, I would do one frame different each time, and that's it. So no, I've got to use the mouse for today. Um, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Um, and that's how you're doing. So think about all the elements you've got. You might have a jet, okay? Instead of making a super detailed jet that flies and the cockpit opens and stuff like that, make it really simple. One frame, it's the jet, and the second frame, the jet's got fire coming out of the engines, and then it animates back and forth. So watch that video clip that we saw. It's pretty simple, but put together as a whole, it um, is actually really quite quite detailed. So. Like, at the end, we're going to have to act like movies for us. Sorry? Like, in the on this one ring on this yeah, yeah, you can make so you can make all these things move across as well if you like. But we'll get to that later. So that's what I'm going to show you the more I quickly showed you the animation stuff, but we're going to spend more time on that later. So it's just really filling up your library with stuff. Cool. Awesome. Let's get cracking. I'll come around and help you out individually so I can see where we're at.